This is meteorologist Brian Peters with you for a look at your May the 31st weather extreme video. And I'm coming to you from Mount Chiha, but it looks like we've got some rain in the forecast for today and for tonight. There's a look at our Skycam imagery this morning, and you can see from Birmingham, uh, pardon me, that's Tuscaloosa, you can see that uh, we have... A uh, few showers uh, visible over there on the sky cam, and we have clouds in the vicinity of Gadsden. So uh, certainly uh, we've, we've kind of changed with the showers we had yesterday. Main culprit in our weather is going to be a surface low in the Central Plains area, the uh, mid-Mississippi River Valley. That will be dragging a front through our area as a trough in the upper atmosphere moves out of uh, the kind of the eastern Rockies area and uh, moves across uh, the eastern half of the country. This morning, we're because of the clouds, we're a little bit warmer. It's Birmingham at 74 degrees, but it looks like uh, with the clouds, we may hold temperatures down into the upper 80s this afternoon. There's a look at radar, and you can see that uh, first we've got what's going on right now, which is kind of a result of what happened uh, late yesterday afternoon and into early evening hours, especially over Mississippi and down into the Mobile area kind of uh, uh, boundary along that uh, big complex of thunderstorms that occurred. But uh, the real news, of course, is what's out to the west, uh, further out uh, to the west. There's a look at uh, the uh, closer look at uh, radar, so some showers, uh, especially uh, down to the southwest of Tuscaloosa. Now, uh, the Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk uh, area that, that encompasses from the Ohio River Valley across uh, the Birmingham area and Memphis uh, down across uh, Jackson and into uh, southeast uh, Texas. The main threat for tornadoes is actually across the Ohio River Valley where the helicity values are much higher. And for us and for much of the area, it looks like a damaging wind event is what is uh, possible. Maybe some large hail possible, but uh, both of those may be somewhat marginal. Day two, the slight risk uh, ex extends from or extends onto the east coast uh, around the, centered around the Carolinas. thing about um, this is we're probably going to get on the order of a half to one inch of rain across uh, a good part of the area. At least let's hope so. Uh, models showing some interesting problems. There's a look quick at satellite imaging, see that we do have a nice cloud deck over the area. All right, the 06E GFS model run, and uh, there's a look at uh, what we expect uh, today. And of course, the main focus is on the front out to our west. Um, by midnight tonight, the front is inching closer, and it does show, you know, the possibility of uh, showers over the area. Interesting, uh, there are some differences in the computer models, but there, there's the the uh, RPM model, and what's interesting is the RPM model is indicating that uh, with the front getting closer around midnight that uh, we certainly might see a, a diminishing of activity, which of course, uh, if any of this is driven by the daytime heating, then that would be uh, certainly uh, a possibility, but uh, boy, I hate to, <laughs> you know, when, uh, when, when you see all the evidence there, you, it's kind of hard to go with uh, that solution. But anyway, so still looking at the possibility of thunderstorms, but again, the situation may be somewhat marginal. There is a, a look at the uh, uh, CAPE values, and uh, CAPE values do drop off uh, during the night, but they're still significant. And, of course, helicity, we mentioned that the greatest threat is in the Ohio River Valley. There's no helicity down this way. All right, let's move on with the forecast. The front should come through. The trough in the upper atmosphere moves through uh, during the day on uh, Friday, the 1st of June. And, of course, that means that we should see uh, the surface low move up into the Great Lakes. And as it does, it drags the cold front across the area so that uh, uh, by midday, the cold front is actually kind of uh, sweeping out of central Alabama. So it looks like we should be improving our weather conditions. The uh, upper trough uh, establishes itself, so for Saturday it looks like a beautiful day and drier air filtering into the area. Now on Sunday, we're still under a slight northwesterly flow, but notice the little impulse uh, that's uh, in the vicinity of the Kansas-Nebraska border up there. So there's little impulses that could be coming through the flow, and uh, you can see two of those impulses there, one over North Georgia and one over uh, oh, in the St. Louis area. And certainly the, there is a possibility that with those we might see some scattered showers. However, uh, I'm a little doubtful because I think the moisture is going to be somewhat limited. We stay under that sort of pattern uh, with a northwesterly flow through uh, Tuesday, but of course at the surface we're warming up. Uh, there's uh, the ridge still to our west on uh, Wednesday. Uh, but again, the GFS suggesting the possibility of some 
isolated, perhaps scattered showers uh, driven by the heat of the afternoon. We stay under that kind of pattern uh, as the ridge kind of gets a little bit closer to us and, of course, sharpens up substantially up into Canada. Uh, but again, we're staying with uh, the possibility of uh, some uh, showers and perhaps the old frontal boundary. Now, looking out into the future a little bit further, we can see that uh, the ridge is still the big feature to our west. However, there is a nice trough on the east coast, and that trough kind of comes back across the southeastern U.S., so that looks like that could be somewhat stormy. And then as we head uh, into the 15th of June, once again, uh, the trough in our area, and uh, uh, certainly the possibility that that could be stormy. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Uh, James Spann is on vacation, uh, taking a couple of days off this week, and I'll be filling in with uh, one a day in the morning. So appreciate you tuning in. In the meantime, uh, stay weather-wise for the potential and uh, stay with the weather blog for additional updates. I hope you have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.